So we have the bowl Travis originally packed the way he packs his bowls at home. And then we have another, another Travis pack right here. So do you normally stand your coals up like that? Normally I use a Provost. Okay. On my hookah with just one single layer of oil. Right. But when I'm using like a big, like I go to a lounge and they don't have Provos or I don't bring mine, mm -hmm. I'll usually stone hand them just to kind of diverse the heat from being fully on the bowls. Because normally mm -hmm. I use the smaller bowls. Right. Yeah, and I mean, in a way that's kind of comparable to Japanese coals. Um, you know, with coconut coals, they do burn hotter. I mean, one of these Japanese coals probably put out as much as half the heat of a single coconut coal. Um, so, I mean, stone engineering might help. I mean, I recommend, like, if you have a pair of hammer tongs or something, if you're using cubes or flats, I mean, maybe break them in half. Yeah. If I'm using coconut coals, that's typically what I do. If you're, like, using cubes, if you want to lower the heat, you can only use cubettes, mm -hmm. which are smaller. Yeah, and when I use coconut, I, I usually break them up. I've been to some lounges that retain years bowl. They'll use their already cooked coals mm -hmm. that are already shrunken down and put them on there, mm -hmm. just so it less heat on there, but it's not going to burn the bowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I'm glad you make that point because you see a lot of people when they pack online, they're like, "Oh, my bowl is hellfire," you know? Like, what's going on? I have three giant cubes on bowl this the size of what you're using you know? yeah and like yeah it's way too much heat so I mean a lot of lounges you see in a lounge people will change coals out and I mean that coal still is 60 percent of 60 percent of the coal remaining whereas like a Japanese coal I mean, we cook them down to you know a small little cherry size coal you know yeah so I mean the coconut coals people throw away in lounges I mean can be effectively used on one of our bowls in my opinion, but just not a full, like three full size cubes on a tiny 80 foot bowl or something. Yeah, unless you're looking at doing one round of coals on the bowl and it being it. Yeah. So usually throughout the time you're smoking, do you have to kind of move your coals around sometimes? Like kind of what Travis is doing, like flipping them around Um, Once like the bowl's going, I kind of just leave them leave in the purpose as is. Okay. Um, like I said, I like smoking my bowls with the hotter heat. So even when it comes to the second round, my coals are small. So I'll leave the first round of coals in the Provos with the second round of coals. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the Japanese, the Japanese coal bowl? It's good. Started up pretty quick. Yep. The Japanese coals are nice because they light. They do take less time to actually light up. Mm -hmm. And the benefit is you can stack them on top of there. Mm -hmm. Like if I try to put one on here, it's not gonna go. Oh, yeah, it'll take a half hour for it to light. Yeah. yeah. And by the time it lights, your coals are gonna just start to diminish. Yep. Even though it's a tangy bowl with a smaller spire inside, with the way the holes are poked, you still get the good airflow out of it. Um, knowing how much less heat those have, you can tell it's gonna last quite a while with the bigger bowl. And like you said, you can manage it, you can throw another coal on there, you don't have to worry about getting up and going to the burner and lighting coals. Like if I want my second set, I have to go to the burner, go light them, wait like 10 minutes and then get them. Yeah. The kind of nice thing about the wait time though is that you can go to the bathroom, set up whatever you're about to do and everything, you know. The Japanese charcoal do light very quickly, which is also nice, but sometimes when I'm using them at home, I'll forget they're there because I got distracted. Yeah, once the bowl, like say if I smoke one round and I go to the store, I'm just the type that's like, oh, time to pack a new bowl, yeah. I'm not going to relight. <laughs> time to grab one of my other pre-packed bowls. Yep. You know? <laughs> yeah, so the Gen 2 charcoal, which I don't, I don't know if you've seen them yet. The bigger ones? Yeah, they're a little bit thicker than the ones we had before. Um, overall, I think they're much better quality of coal. Um, they're heavier. Uh, they, they burn longer, they seem to light easier. Uh, and for me, like, before with the Gen 1s, like four coals was like, yeah, that's, a, that's enough heat. Sometimes I would even, sometimes I would even run five on a large bowl. But yeah. I like to smoke hot air, that's just me. Um, with this, I'm like, ooh, I could go four or I could go three, you know? Uh, three coals, you know, push to the center, it'll get the right heat I want. You know, four kind of spread out like this, great too. 
I mean, overall, I just, I like the Gen 2 Colts much better. I think if you, if you have any skepti skepticism about Japanese charcoal, go grab a box of Gen 2, you know? I mean, they're, they're great Colts. Yeah. I, I, I like them a lot more. Um, they're far superior to the Gen 1s, in my opinion. Um, grab a box and check them out, you know? Uh, take what I have to say into consideration, but try them yourself, you know? Always gotta try something. You can't just knock it without trying it. Mm, yeah. That's where I feel like a lot of worries with Japanese bowls is people hear how some of the knockoff brands are or smell, and then they just don't want to try them at all. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I've had them before, but that was a long time ago. Yeah. And they were better than like the Instant Light ones for the fact that you're not getting the flavor of the coals in your bowl and all that. Yeah. And it's like, but then I was like, they still weren't the greatest thing. So it kind of like threw me off from trying them. And then coconut coals came out. And I'm like, kind of just been my safe haven. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm the Gen 2, like I said, far superior to Gen 1, in my opinion. Try them. Um, I'd light one on there, totally forget about it. And I'm like, crap, do I need to light another one? And I'd move it. I'm like, oh no, it's still whole. Yeah. Like I can throw yeah. it on there. And I'm like, oh, well, I know the other ones are dying, so let me throw one on top of that one because I know that one's the hottest one. Mm -hmm. And it just was a constant mm -hmm. continuance of sitting here and just throwing clothes on there and smoking. Yeah, it really gives you control to manage your heat how you want. I mean, like I said, I smoke hotter than, say, perhaps Rhiannon smokes. You know, Rhiannon may knock a coal off my bowl. She may, oh, it's too hot. Well, if I go back to smoking again, I can just throw another Japanese coal on there, light it up, and back to where I'm comfortable. Yep.